All right, what's going on guys? So as you may or may not know, we got our first reveal of actual Infinite Warfare gameplay yesterday at E3. Now I'm not going to include the full seven and a half minutes of gameplay in this video. I'm just going to include the parts I want to talk about personally. Some people have just been like re-uploading the entire trailer. I'm not even sure how they did that without being copyrighted. I don't know, maybe they didn't monetize the video or something. I'm not sure, but I'm going to link the full video in the description down below and if you want to watch the whole thing like uninterrupted and everything you can go ahead and do that it's up on the main call of duty youtube channel so you know it's pretty easy to find but basically we saw about a seven minute fragment from a campaign mission nothing too crazy or anything but at least it's some actual gameplay which is pretty cool because i believe they have pushed back the multiplayer reveal to cod xp which actually pisses me off because last year we saw the black ops 3 multiplayer reveal in june so around this time last year we were already seeing bo3 multiplayer and the year before in aw and in ghosts we saw the multiplayer reveal in august so this year we have to wait till september which is you know another month past that and three months past the bo3 reveal so it's just kind of annoying that we have to wait so long this year i'm not really sure why but i think this year might be the longest we've ever had to wait to see multiplayer and that just kind of pisses me off i don't know like i just want to see what the fuck we're going to be playing you know what i mean like there's no reason to delay it but let's go Go ahead and discuss this trailer so i've just made a little list here of things that i saw that i wanted to kind of cover and there's there's a whole lot of other stuff that i don't really feel is important i just have a list of about five things that i wanted to actually talk about so number one they have added some sort of grappling hook is what i'll call it into the game now we don't know if this is going to be an official part of the movement system or if it's just going to be campaign or if they do it like it was in advanced warfare where it has its own separate playlist if you want to play like that like you go into that playlist or whatever i don't know what the deal is with this but there is some sort of grappling hook in this game I am not a fan of that. I don't like it. I think it's stupid and I don't want it in multiplayer. And if it has to be in multiplayer, put it in its own separate playlist where whoever likes it can go in there and do it. But definitely do not include it as a core part of the game. In my opinion, that will ruin the game. Like That really would be a bad idea. Number two, you will notice there is a lot of gameplay inside of these spaceships. Now, I have to assume once again that this is just a campaign only type of thing. We haven't had vehicles in a Call of Duty since World at War when we had tanks you know vehicles and call of duty like that that's not really what they do but i did want to point this out there is maybe a possibility that these could be some of the kill streaks we see in multiplayer because as we all know there's always one gunship warship spaceship type kill streak that is user controlled and it's always one of the biggest kill streaks in the game so i was thinking that you know maybe one of these ships that they're showing us i believe the the mission itself has ship in the name so that's maybe a clue right there but i was thinking that maybe one of these that they're showing us could be one of the kill streaks in multiplayer or at the very least something similar to a kill streak we'll see in multiplayer so i just wanted to mention that as something to maybe keep in mind number three you will notice a lot of the gameplay is zero gravity which means you're like floating around and other people are floating around and stuff and I'm almost positive that has to be a campaign only feature which is totally fine but definitely do not bring that to multiplayer I know for sure like the entire multiplayer won't be zero gravity but I could definitely maybe see them including some sort of zero gravity section inside of a map you know like just one corner of the map is zero gravity and if you go over there you know be floating around or whatever something like that or maybe some sort of dynamic map element for example like there was in ghosts or advanced warfare when the maps would change and stuff i could see maybe they implement some sort of zero gravity countdown or something and for like 30 seconds you're floating in the air in the map you know something stupid like that because they're always thinking of stuff like that thinking like oh my god like that's so creative everyone will love that like yeah maybe it sounds really cool in your head like oh zero gravity that'd be so cool nah man it's it's really not that cool in reality it just it doesn't lead to good gameplay cool as it may sound or whatever it just it never works out that way now the fourth thing I wanted to point out is they implemented some sort of shield thing. It reminds me a lot of the Exo Shield ability in Advanced Warfare. Like it pops out of his arm, like it's almost the exact same thing. Once again, hoping it's just a campaign thing, but even if it isn't, like if this makes it into multiplayer, I'm not sure how it would make it into multiplayer. Like it's not a kill streak, so does that mean maybe it's an equipment or do we have abilities in this new game like we did in Advanced Warfare? Like I'm not really sure how they would put it in multiplayer 
multiplayer because it's, it's not really a weapon it either has to be equipment or some sort of ability so i don't really know how they would implement it but it's not that big of a deal even if they do like i didn't feel like that many people even used it in advanced warfare and even if you did use it it wasn't even nearly as good as some of the other abilities in that game so honestly not a big deal even if they include it and finally number five they did show some cod 4 remastered gameplay at the end but it wasn't really true gameplay it was a lot of stuff we already saw in the trailer and it was really more of just like campaign cinematics and stuff it wasn't a true campaign cod 4 mission like we saw with infinite warfare in the trailer or not the trailer in the reveal but at least they showed us something you know it's whatever I, you didn't really get that much from seeing it i think it would have been better if they showed like at least a couple minutes of campaign gameplay from cod 4 just like they did with infinite warfare but one thing about cod 4 is they did announce that if you pre-order infinite warfare you can also get cod 4 remastered one month early right it sounds really good when you think about it like that right like oh shit cod 4 early but as always it's activision it's too good to be true there's always a catch with these sort of things and it's campaign only so yes you will get cod 4 remastered one month early but you only get campaign so i mean yeah that's cool or whatever but who really cares it's it's not that big of a deal first of all a lot of people have already played the campaign and they might not even want to play it again. I mean, how many times do you really play a campaign? And for the people who, who want to play the campaign again, or maybe have never played it, like, okay, you play it, you finish it in like one day or maybe like two or three days. Like, it's not going to last you 30 days of playing campaign. You know what I mean? So it is really not that big of a deal for them to bring it back a month early if it's just campaign. You know, if it was like a week early and it's campaign, okay, you could play the campaign for a week, then get in the game. But a month early, like, what are you going to do with campaign for a month? I don't know. But that's really it. Those are the main points I wanted to discuss. The overall, message here really is I think this campaign looks very futuristic and and really strange and unlike any other Call of Duty that we've ever seen but I feel like and I hope that most of this stuff will not be included in multiplayer and hopefully the multiplayer doesn't really look anything like what we're seeing in this campaign mission but as far as the actual gameplay is concerned I don't really play campaign so I don't really care what it looks like it, it doesn't affect me I can't even remember the last time I completed a full entire campaign maybe Maybe MW3, I think I played a couple missions in BO2, maybe a couple in Ghost, but I didn't even touch campaign in BO3 or in Advanced Warfare. Like, I don't really care about campaign, so, you know, do whatever you want with that. You know, I'll leave that up for the campaign enthusiasts to uh, discuss what they think about that. I'm just using this footage as an opportunity to hopefully learn something about multiplayer and, you know, just see what the game is going to look like. Like, that's what I really care about. So, anyways, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. You think it's cool? You think it looks stupid? Let me know. It's getting a lot of hate i will tell you that the, the trailer has a lot of dislikes already people are not happy about what they're seeing you know will this get a million dislikes too i don't know probably not you know it seems kind of excessive but who knows what's gonna happen so anyways thank you guys all for watching be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed subscribe if you're not already follow me on twitter links in the description down below other than that have a good day and peace out